All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an HTML5 website that looks great on all devices, desktops, mobile devices, tablets, you name it. Uh, so you want to go to Google and just type free HTML5 template. And the first one that comes up that's not an advertisement is this HTML5 up. And for this one, I'm going to, to just pick the first one massively. It's a very nice template that's easy to customize. So here it is down here. I'm going to show in folder. And I'm going to extract that. zip file okay so what it looks like is that right there you've got your got three files there's three page this is a three page template you've got a folder where the images are and some folders where you probably don't need to get into unless you're really going to do something advanced. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and there you can see it. It's got a background with a some sort of a gradient and then several images and descriptions, contact form, very nice looking template that you can if you don't don't want if you don't want this pagination down here, I think that's for a blog. You can just take. I'll show you how to take that out, and uh, I'm going to show you how to just add edit the images. Um, for this example, I'm going to um, make a duck hunting website with a domain name that I have, Duck Hunter Club, Duck Hunter Duck Club. So the first thing we want to do is open. The index file in whatever text editor you use, um, and that's what it looks like right there. I'm going to start by just editing the, the title. That's the, the part that shows up under search engines. I'm just going to do something simple like that for the sake of this tutorial. I'm going to change the header to duckhunter.club as well. I don't need that second line. And I'm going to just change this to a place. To a place to learn about duck hunting and duck hunting clubs. So let's save that and see what it looks like so far. Okay, that looks pretty good. And it looks like there's another thing to edit. So we're going to go back to our text editor, and there it is right there very easy to find, very clean code. So I'm going to put that in. Then I'm going to go down to one of the links. And for this I'm just going to put home. And I'm not going to get into editing these two pages, but it's very similar to editing these. This page here. Here you can add your right there is where you would add your link to your Twitter Facebook, just take out that pound and, and type in your link to your Instagram and, and if you have a GitHub account, put it in there. Okay, and you can you can change the date, you can change the description here. I'm going to show you how to change the pictures. Um, I have a, a, a bunch of pictures already ready to go um, so I'm going to show you just how to 
edit the that's what you would do if you you have a, a file in your image folder with that name which I do gonna, I've got I'll show you what I've got I've got all these different pictures of ducks and I also have a background picture too and I'm just gonna drag those I'm gonna actually cut those or copy those and put them right into here and I misspelled BG but I'm just gonna delete the background one change that background and let's see what we've got so far make sure this is saved there it is there's our background kind of a stormy a lot of duck hunters hunt in the storm like that and there's the first picture I've got that's probably the most popular uh, duck that's hunted and so I'm going to uh, show you how to do another image here just scroll down there's pick zero two I'm gonna put teal there and right here I'm gonna put canvas back and another one is pintail and how about scob let's save that and see what we've got looking pretty good um, I think you get the picture as far as adding the pictures um, and then I just want to show you how great this this website this template looks when you go to a smaller size it resizes very nicely and let's go to maybe a, a phone or a, a smartphone an iPhone look at that you've got your menu here these two pages are just as easy to edit as this one looks very nice doesn't it so if you have any questions please post them in the comments but um, this is by far the easiest way to get up and running and you can look at some of the code here if you want to learn HTML5 you've got the article tag you've got a header tag which you can use as many times as you want within the article tag and they, there's a date and a, a you know a title for that picture and then a description down here um, and then there's a section tag that contains all these images you've got a div kind of a container div at the, the very top level and of course your navigation which automatically shows up this way on a small device but when you expand there it is right there very very nice temp nice HTML5 CSS3 template one of the easiest ways to get up and running and impress your uh, boss or your whoever you're making a website for get your footer down here you can have two footers this is for a footer for let's say you have a blog and you want to add add the pages to your blog right there you just change the link right here um, you put in your contact information um, creating a form is a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial here but if you wanted to have a form you just change your information put your actually that's all all ready to go you just would change the action here to something 
to a script that processes that information and sends an email confirmation out. And then, of course, just another section down here with your address if you want to put that and another section for your social icons and again you just edit the links right here where that pound pound sign is and that's pretty much it you could put your copyright down here if you wanted to remove this link that um gives them credit you could do that but I like to leave that in there if I can um, sometimes it's nice to give them credit for all the hard work they did but you can you can take that out too if you want um, let's go ahead and save that and that's pretty much the end of this tutorial and please leave a, me a comment or a question if you have any um, I'm, purpose of this tutorial is just to show you how easy it is to get up and running with HTML5. Some of the, the other videos on here are about an hour long or two hours long and, it, and they go through all the details of HTML5 but sometimes it's also nice to just learn by example and to get something up and running in, in a short period of time and you do a number of these and, and you'll start to get the hang of it. Thank you for watching, and that's all for now.